Italy, home of the Scooter, the Lambretta, the Piaggio, the Moto Guzzi. But the mode of transport I'm here for isn't on two wheels, it's on one. And the single wheel in question is attached to this, the AnyCycle. Its inventor, Alexander Polutnik, has only ever made two, but despite their rarity, he's promised me the chance to ride one of them. How do you do? Nice to meet you. Now, is it easy to ride? Let's say you need 15 minutes, maximum half hours to train, and then it's like a bicycle. Well, I reckon I'm going to take about 10 minutes okay. to learn how to okay, ride. Okay, we will see it. <laughs> Excellent. The genius of the unicycle is in the hidden electronics. Mini gyroscopes measure the vertical angle of the bike 100 times a second, feeding that data to the embedded processor which drives the 1,000 watt hub motor and keeps it balanced. It feels alive! Okay, we've got it. Woo. Here we go. So to make the unicycle actually move, you just lean forward and the computer tells the wheel to try and catch up. Okay, lean, lean forward, forward, lean forward. Ha-ha! <laughs> Flying solo! In exactly 4 minutes 32 seconds, I'd managed my first ever journey on the unicycle. <laughs> wow! I've tried riding a unicycle before and that's just, that's just impossible. It's impossible. The, the rate of learning here feels so much quicker. Then it was just a small matter of finesse. Oh, and mastering the steering. <laughs> The pedals make the wheel tilt left or right, just like leaning wood on a bike. Oh, no, no. <laughs> and the spring acts as a damper to make riding easier. OK, OK. It wasn't long before I was in total control of my ride. It looks impressed, doesn't it? It really is simple. It is lean forward for speed, lead back to slow down, press right to turn right, he says, and demonstrate. <laughs> I can't believe after almost mastering it, I've fallen over. I'm all right. Alexander designed the AnyCycle so that he could enjoy one-wheeled fun with his conventional unicycling girlfriend. But the AnyCycle generated so much interest that he's now trying to get funding to mass produce it. It's the AnyCycle. I could take it anywhere. Anyone can learn how to use it. Its top speed may only be 10 miles an hour, but that just doesn't matter, because it's impossible not to love riding it. And after nearly exhausting its three-hour battery charge, I'd even cracked the secret of staying in control. Just forget that you're only balancing on one wheel. But you see, I can't because it's so much fun. I defy anybody not to enjoy riding one of these. And now that I've mastered it, we just simply push off. 